So one morning I woke up and I saw my semicolon tattoo. It had a different glow and suddenly I heard a voice. Anupam, I said yes, who? It's me, your semicolon tattoo. I said so, what? Do you even remember how I ended up on your hands? I said yes, I do, totally. Then did you tell the world about it? Said the voice. I said no, not yet. Then let the world know and the voice vanished. So, so yeah, am I telling my story. It was April of 2013. I was an engineering student and it was the month of exams. The first one was JE mains and it was the most important. And honestly, it did not go well. However, I was okay with it. Many of that theek hai, dekh lehe. Abhi paanch exams aur hai. But suddenly, life had other plans. A day after my exams, I fell ill. I had high fever. I expected it to go before my exams in Kolkata that weekend, but unfortunately, that did not happen. I tried my best to board my train to Kolkata for the exams, only to faint at the railway station and brought back home. And that's how I missed my first exam. Or I missed one more exam in a couple of days due to my poor health. I missed one more exam in a couple of days due to my poor health, and now it was two exams in a row. Two exams missed by an engineering student. I was now worried and anxious. And just then, the postman arrived. The postman arrived with the bad news. Yes, it was the admit cards of two of my exams over the next 10 days. And when I looked at those admit cards, I burst out into tears. It was those tears of hopelessness. Hopelessness that I might not be able to take any exam again. And this was my depression. And after that, everything was going after that particular incident, everything seemed to change. I lost my interest, I lost my hobbies, I lost my sleep. And most importantly, I lost my smile. I used to lie in bed all day, looking at the fan, thinking about how fucked my life is. At that particular time, my mom had removed all my books and study material from my room. Because I would often cry when I would see them. It was one such incident when my dad had to go out of the station for some work. And just when he was about to leave, I held his hand. I held his hand and said with tears in my eyes, Papa, please one job. He was shocked to see. He was shocked to see his 17 year old son behaving like a kid. And so was I at my behavior. This got my dad really worried. And the first, for the first time in his life, my dad took an indefinite leave. The very next day, he, take, he took me to a physician. The physician said I had typhoid, which was not diagnosed by any other doctor before. So he put me on a bed rest for the next one week. Along with the best rest, bed rest, I also had to take injections, a strong antibiotic injections. Those injections, those injections healed me physically, but on the mental side, I was completely destroyed. Now I had missed all my exams in April and I was already dead inside. I used to see my mom crying. I used to see her crying. However, she tried to hide it, but Often she would end up crying in front of me. And once she asked me, she asked me, Peter, kahaya tumhaya dos jo jo aaya karte the? And when she asked me, I responded her with tears. I hugged her and cried. And ye aasu sirf un dosto ke liye tha, jo mujhse milne ab nahi aaya karte the. Mere mere family ke un logo ke liye bhi tha, jo mujhe ab pagal kehne lage the. Aur kahi na kahi, main ho bhi raha tha. Depression, it can give you weird thoughts. And those thoughts can be completely baseless and illogical. Totally bullshit. I had one such thought. The thought was that I was going to die. And believe me, I had decided a date of my death myself. Yes, it had to be my parents' anniversary, which was in a couple of days. Those two days felt like eternity. I lived in terror for those two days. Yeah, of course, I did not die. But I had already entered the next stage of depression, suicidal thoughts. And you know that in depression, the biggest enemy of your depression is who you are. That's what you are. Now I wanted to put a full stop to my story. Now I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to kill myself with a knife in my house. I wanted to jump off the terrace. And everything around me seemed to like a weapon of suicide. I just wanted to put a full stop to my story. After that incident, after that incident, basically, I had always someone looking after me. They used to think that I would commit suicide. So I had always someone looking after me at that particular point of time. Now my dad, after seeing me like this for a month, finally he decided to take me to a psychiatrist. At first, I resented. I said, 
मुझे नहीं जाना पागलों के डॉक्टर के पास मैं पागल थोड़ी हूँ बट समेंस मी टू गो देयर एंड वेन आई वेल देयर वॉट आई सोज की वहां कोई पागल नहीं था वहां पे सबके सब नॉर्मल इंसान थे बिल्कुल आपके और मेरी तरह एंड देन आई रियलाइज दैट डिप्रेशन हैज नो फेस डिप्रेशन मेडिसिन एवरीथिंग चेंज I slept like I never slept before, and when I woke up, I smiled. I smiled after a month. Took me some time to recover. I took the help of yoga and other things. And when I finally recovered, one day I remember an incident from my childhood when I was in school. So I was in school that day, and it was an English class. I was writing something. The teacher came to me and said, "Anupam, this is not how you use punctuations. This is not how you use punctuations." So I asked, "Then tell me how do I use punctuations?" So I told me that use full stop to mark the end of a sentence. Use comma for a small pause, and if you use semicolon for a pause that is too long, and the context of the sentence changes after that. So now I asked myself that what is what was that depression phase in my life, and I had the answer. It was certainly not the full stop because my story did not end. It was neither the comma because that was a very big pause. So it had to be that semicolon because after that phase. The context of my life completely changed. I was no more that person anymore. So now, so now I wanted to mark my victory over depression. So I went to a tattoo artist. I still remember her. She was beautiful. She asked me, "Kya bana tum?" I said, "Bas ek sabhi ko dum." Thank you. There is something uh, more I have to say. So depression is one thing which uh, people are not able to speak out. I wanted to reach such people, and I had no platform. So I tried telling my story so that I could reach out to such people. So whenever you find someone, you see he or she is depressed. Please help him. Please take him somewhere. Please help him. We can prevent. We can literally prevent a lot of suicide cases. Thank you.